The next school that we are going to recognize is Beaver Creek High School. The girls' basketball team won the state tournament in 1995, 2001, and 2003, all led by Coach Ed Zink. In 1995, the Beavers went 28-0, averaging 67 points a game while giving up just 35. No opponent came within 10 points of them. As we talk about their achievements, we want to bring them up to the stage here. Amanda Reese, the school's all-time leading scorer, averaged 18 points per game. Kim Bates averaged 10. Reese was voted most valuable player of the tournament after a 50-39 victory over Lakewood in the title game. She was also named Miss Basketball Ohio that year. In 2001, Beaver Creek again had a 28-0 record, averaging 65 points a game. Opponents averaged 35. The Beavers were led in scoring by 6'6", Allison Bales, who scored an average of 15 points. Tiffany Webb also had 15. And state tournament MVP Emily Williams racked up an average of 10 points per game. Shamana Julian put up a good fight in the championship game, but Beaver Creek outlasted them and won. And in 2003, Beaver Creek lost only one of 28 games and were the state champs once again. Allison Bales and Kim Ingle did most of the scoring in that season. The Beavers uh, beat Brookhaven that year, as you remember, uh, in the semifinal and then crushed Hudson in the final. 58 to 21 was the final in that game. Engel was the MVP of the tournament and a successful season brought to fruition here. We bring up right now the Beaver Creek women to the stage and we'll do the same thing. Ladies, give us your year and pass that mic along. Um, Trisha Gardner, year of 2003. Peggy Kent, assistant coach, 2003. Terry Downing, assistant coach, 2001, 2003. Stephanie Lohman, 1995. Allison Bales, I was on the 01 and 03 team. Uh, Trisha Cronin and the 2001 team. Emily Kappel, 2001. Missy Young, two th or, oh my gosh, I wish, <laughs> 1995. <laughs> Kelly Shute, 1995. Kim Bates, 1995. Kendra Malcolm, 1995. Sarah McKittrick, 1995. Erica Stankowski, 1995. Amanda Reese, 1995. Laura Finn, 1995. Erica Serbanovsky, 1995. Mary Jo Petroselli, assistant coach, 1995. Desiree Green, 1995. Emily Clark, 0103. Lee Zerman, 2003. Amanda Jones, 2001, 2003. Ashley Bergman, 2003. <laughs> Kim Engel, 2001, 2003. Allison Fulcotti, two, uh, yeah, 2003. That's right. Coach Zink, tell us about this team. Okay, well, first of all, I'd like to apologize to Coach Stamper there. I forgot to mention her before, so Peggy, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, well, back in 95, uh, the year before 94, we had made it to the state, and uh, unfortunately, we got it handed to us pretty good. Uh, by Garfield Heights Trinity. I think they doubled our score, and it was quite an ending to a great year, but, uh, but the ending did not go, obviously, as we had planned. So we kind of made a commitment that said we were going to come back next year and win it all. Well, we had a great year, but one of our parents went out and bought T-shirts. It says on the front, uh, we're, coming, we're going back for one reason, and on the back it said to win it all. But we hadn't won, we hadn't made it there yet. Man, he went out and, and bought some, and, and fortunately, the kids stepped forward, and, and, and we won the regional, and were able to go on and win the state and finish the year 28-0. And, you know, even though our closest game was 10 points through the entire year, uh, there were several games, obviously, that... You know, we just pulled out at the end and it made it a 10 point game. In 2001, uh, I think we were rated number one in the state at the end of the year. We were 28 or 20 and 0, and we thought we were pretty good. And, and we got in the tournament, weren't playing very well, and probably on the regional semifinals, we probably should have gotten beat. Uh, we had to go into overtime to win it. And then after that, the kids took it upon themselves, and, and we, um, we beat, uh, uh, I think it's Mother of Mercy in the regional finals. 
uh, then Cleveland East Tech in the semifinals, and then Shamrod Julian in the finals, and they went ahead and finished 28-0. And then in 2003, um, we, had, we got beat during the year by Chaminade, but to the kids' credit, they came back, um, beat uh, Mount Notre Dame uh, in the regional finals, uh, then went in a, in a very close game, I think it was 59-55, went up to the state, took Brookhaven, took us overtime, and, and you know, we, Kim hit a late three to, t to tie it, pull us back in it, and we won in overtime, and then we just played a great game in the finals, and um, so, but it, they're just tremendous kids, and I know they want to thank their parents uh, for number one, when they were younger, for hauling them around everywhere to w where they could play, and then when as they got older, to um, they didn't have to drive them around, but you were there to support them, and you know they they want to thank you for that. And I know they also want to thank the um, community of Beaver Creek because we did have a great following then. I mean very tremendous uh, following, and I know they want to thank them for that. And I want to thank these kids, because they're not only good basketball players, but they are great kids, and uh, they are a fun group to be around. So thank you to everyone.